purpose of this video tutorial is to demonstrate the DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby script called LineArtView, the purpose of which is to use in Google SketchUp the 3D modeling program, and it's to quickly and consistently convert the view settings of your Google SketchUp model into what appears to be a very precise line drawing. So let's take a look at a 3D model that I've created for use in an issue of JSA. I've mocked it up here to incorporate a lot of the view settings that I see in a lot of standard Google SketchUp models whenever you download. Oftentimes you'll have excess components in the components palette. These take up additional file space, which whenever you're dealing with a highly detailed model can sometimes be very problematic. Styles will look a little bit weird to me, which is where the display edges may be turned off. Profiles or other settings may be beefed up dramatically, which sometimes will tend to clog up the details that are in the model. Enable transparency will often be on. So will display shadows and of course fog. Those looks can be interesting for certain types of artwork, but for creating black and white art that is attempting to emulate the look of pen and ink, these settings are then less useful. To activate the DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby Script Line Art View, simply go to the Tools palette in Google SketchUp and activate the Ruby Script. And almost immediately, even if the file size of your 3D model is pretty large, you'll see an immediate difference. The first thing that the DigiArt Quick Tool does is immediately it purges all unused components. Next, it disables transparency. It turns off profiles. It displays edges. It turns off your display shadow settings. And finally, it turns off the fog view setting. The benefit of using this DigiArt Quick Tool over the Styles palette in Google SketchUp is that the Google SketchUp Styles palette has a lot of settings that you would then have to manually select or deselect to get this look. Google SketchUp Pro does offer Style Builder, which you could program many of these same functions in at the click of a button, just like the DigiArt Quick Tool. You could customize your own view settings. However, it is only available in the Pro version, which is a $500 purchase. Not everyone can afford that. So this is a good workaround to get the line art look that you're looking for without spending such a large sum of money. After your view settings have been altered with the DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby Script line art view, all of the little details of the 3D model will stand out more in a line art mode. A lot of these details were obscured in the previous style view. And since the ultimate destination, at least in my workflow, is Adobe Photoshop, I've collected here two different exports, one from each of the two different view settings. Although the first gives some indication of shadow, which can be useful, it would be much more difficult to lightbox off of this if you're using one of the hybrid methods or if you're using this as a guide for you to create your own backgrounds on top of in Photoshop. There just isn't that hard line quality that can come in handy whenever you're creating line art, which is why this DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby Script line art view comes in handy so often. This concludes the tutorial for the DigiArt Quick Tool Ruby Script line art view for use in Google SketchUp. Don't forget to visit freddyart.com for additional tutorials and other DigiArt Quick Tool downloads.